arithmetic series. We are going to prove some formulas or some, yeah, some formulas for these. Now, what is an arithmetic series? Well, you have a first term. Let's call it a sub 1. Okay. You have a common difference, B, from one term to the next. In other words, the first term is A1. The second term is A1 plus B. The next term, so they differ by D. And this one and this one have to differ by D. So you get A1 plus 2D and A1 plus 3D, etc. So you have A1, that's the first term, and then you add on the second term, and then you add on the third term, which will have A, will be adding 2Ds to it. This is 2D all the way up to the n term. This is the first, this is the second, this is the third. What would, and this one I'm claiming is the n term. The third term, the second term, the first term. Question is, is how many D's am I adding? Well, if you look carefully. We're adding the first D, but that's the term number is one higher. We're adding the second D, ooh, ooh, the term number is one larger. That is, if you take the term number, two, you take away one, which is one, you find out how many Ds you add. You take the third term, three, and you take away one, you find out how many Ds are being added. Well, if you have the nth term, you take away 1, and you find out how many d's are being added. Namely, n minus 1 of them. So now, right there is the rule for finding the nth term. You take the first term, so a sub n. So, you know, th this is a 1, and that's a 2, and you calculate it that way. And this is a 3, and you calculate it, you calculate it that way. And this is the nth term, and you calculate it that way. To find the nth term, you take the first term, and you add a lot of these to it. How many? Whatever that is, one less. That is the formula to find it. N term. Now, what would the sum of the first n terms be? So, how much is a1 plus a1 plus or d plus a1 plus 2d all the way up to a1 plus n minus 1d? What do you get when you add all these numbers? First n terms. Well, you get a1 plus a1 plus a1 plus a1. How many times? Well, notice this here is kind of counting it for us. 1, 2, 3, 4, n minus 1. We'll call that the first time we added a1 and this the second time and this the n minus first time we added a1 but there's one more this has you know let me not write so many this here has n factors that is i'm adding a a1 to itself n times but I also have to add the 1D plus the 2D plus etc. all the way up to N minus 1D. But I can factor out the D. That's 1D plus 2D plus 3D 
all the way up to plus n minus 1 leads. Okay. Now, if we add a1 to itself n times, we're going to get a1 times n plus d times what's in the bracket. So we have a rule. If you add up the first counting numbers up to n minus 1, you get n minus 1 times 1 more, which is n, over 2. That is what you get. So this here is the sum of the first n numbers of an arithmetic series. Well, we can clean this up. We can clean this up a little bit. We have a1n plus bn times n minus 1 over 2. Let's get a common denominator. I'll multiply by 2 over 2 here. That's 1. And now both fractions have the same denominator. Well, what's in common? Well, they both have an n, and they both have a 2 in the bottom. So it's n over 2 times a1, a1 plus b times n minus 1. b times n minus 1. So, there's one little thing wrong here. I factored out n over 2. And over here, I factored out n over 2. Well, what's left here is 2a1. 2a1. Well, you know what? a1 does equal, 2a1 does equal a1 plus a1, right? Plus b times n minus 1. So I'm just going to bracket things up. A1 plus the brackets around the rest. B times N minus 1. Okay, now if you look, that's the first term. Ooh, look at that. That's the last term. Check that out. That's the last term. That's the last term. Okay? So, if you, if you want to find out the sum, all you have to do is take the first term and the last term and add them up, and then multiply by the number of terms over 2. Okay. The sum is always the first term plus the last term, I can say over 2. And then multiply that by n, the number of numbers. Okay, so it's pretty simple. If you have the first term, and you have the last term, and you know how many terms there are, of course you know what 2 is. Bingo, you got the sum. And there's not much more to do with arithmetic or sequences. Those are the two formulas I'm aware of. And that completes this video. Watch and learn.